Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today I'm going to be showing you how you can connect your PS4 to your Mac or PC remotely and this is going to allow you to play your PS4 wirelessly pretty much anywhere you have a stable internet connection. As always, there's links in the description to other great tips and tricks videos for the PS4 so definitely check them out. Let's get started. All right, so to start things off, what we're gonna do is download and install the software on our PC or Mac. So we'll open up an internet browser and we wanna to navigate to the website remoteplay.dl.playstation.net and it's gonna take you to this page here. And what's great is that this is provided to you directly by Sony. So here we can see we have two download links, either Windows or Mac. And before we actually download those, it's important that you scroll down here and take a look at the system requirements. First off, ensure that your Windows or Mac does meet these minimum requirements. Otherwise, this isn't going to work for you. It's not going to work correctly and you're going to run into issues. Second, make sure that your PlayStation is updated to at least version 6.50 or later. You should be if you play regularly. And you can go through the rest of this information if you want to check it out as well. Once you've done that and you've ensured everything's okay, click on the download link for your operating system. And it should automatically go to your downloads folder unless you've specified it to go somewhere else. So from that folder that you saved it in, open it and it should open up the wizard like so. And from here, we'll start by clicking continue. We'll click continue to agree to the terms and agree again. Now this is going to take up 16 megabytes of space on your computer, which is not much at all. So we'll click install. If you're prompted, enter in your computer password. And that's it. So the installation process is done. So we'll click close. I'm gonna move this to the trash. You can delete the installation file as well. Now let's open up the actual software here, so the PS4 Remote Play software, and it's going to open up like this. Now one issue that happens to a lot of people is it doesn't work correctly because they just jump into this and click start. Before you do that, we need to click the open preferences option down here. And this is going to give you the ability to configure it so that it works best with your computer and your internet setup. We can see that resolution here is high at 720p, but you can set it to a lower resolution if you have slower internet or a slower computer, and best if you have better internet or even the better computer specs as well as this version of PS4. You can check the model of your PS4 at the bottom. Now, unfortunately, mine is the original PS4, so I'm not able to use the 1080p settings, so we're gonna go with the next best at 720p. And same goes for the frame rate. Just read through the little description here to choose it. So I'm gonna select high here. I'm confident in all of my devices. And then we can just close it here. In this next step, we're gonna configure the PS4 settings so that it can run off your laptop remotely. Now for this, you're gonna to need to connect your PS4 to either a TV or a monitor, and you're gonna need your DualShock 4. But once it's configured, you'll no longer need the monitor or your HDMI cable. You'll just simply plug your PlayStation to a power outlet and you'll be able to play remotely. Now from the PlayStation homepage here, you wanna open up the settings application and scroll down to where it says remote play connection settings. We'll open that up here and we're gonna check the box to enable remote play. So it should look like this. Next, we need to make sure that this PS4 is your primary PS4. So for that, we're gonna scroll back up to the account management section and we're gonna click on activate as your primary PS4. Right now, mine is in gray. That means that this is my primary PS4, but if it's white, like the deactivate is here, you'll need to click on it, activate it as your PS4. If you don't do this, it's not gonna work correctly. Now, the last setting we're gonna take a look at, we'll scroll back to the home page here. We'll open settings again, and we'll scroll down to where it says power safe settings, and we're gonna open that up. Click on set features available in rest mode. And this one right here where it says stay connected to the internet. And with this option enabled, it's going to allow you to wake the PS4 while it's in its rest mode without having to actually press the PS4 button on the console itself. So you'll be able to do it from your PC. If you don't have this enabled, you'll have to still turn on your PS4 using the PS4 itself. Next, we're gonna connect our PS4 controller using the micro USB cable to our PC or Mac. Additionally, if you wanna purchase a wireless adapter, you can. I'll link one in the description below if you wanna check it out. That'll allow you to play wirelessly with your DualShock 4 using your PC as a monitor. 
Moving back over to our computer, click the start button and it's going to prompt you to enter in your PlayStation ID. Click sign in. And at this point, pretty much just wait for it to finish. It may take a little while. It took me about five minutes to get to this point. And there we go. We have everything playing on our PC. I can resize it here. It's playing live. I can control it with the DualShock 4. We'll switch over to my camera so you can see it's both working. And I'll go through a few more steps that you can use. All right, now we've got everything connected up here. My PS4 is sitting right here. There aren't any cables plugged up to it other than the power cable. Hopefully you can see that, I'm doing my best here. So because I have it in its rest mode, you can see hopefully it's orange here. We open the remote play app and we'll click start and it should automatically turn on. You can hear it, it just did, it turned on. It's now turning blue and it should turn on on the screen like normal. And that's the benefit of having that setting enabled that I showed you earlier. It'll allow you to play your PS4 in rest mode easily. All right, so we've got the PS4 now connected up. Okay, so on screen here, you can see, I'll show you just with my keyboard here, I can actually use the arrow keys to navigate the home page here. I can go up to my settings. I can use this. Unfortunately, you're not going to be able to gameplay with this. And the mouse is pretty much going to bring up some options at the bottom. You can't select anything, unfortunately, but it is giving you a pop up at the bottom for different things. But for the most part, you're going to be using the DualShock 4 controller. But just to show you any lag here, as I press, it is going. So press, 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 press. It's pretty fast. So let's open up a game here. We'll just uh, open this one up. Okay, so we're in game and we'll move around a little bit just to see how accurate it is. It's pretty, pretty seamless. I mean, there's probably like a millisecond of lag compared to what you would get if you were playing wired, but it's not too bad. I mean, let's try some shots here, even though I'm not supposed to shoot them. No, it's pretty quick, it's pretty quick. If you were playing an online game, you may notice a little bit of the lag, but in this one player game here, this is Assassin's Creed Origins, um, pretty quick. I mean, it's not gonna cause you any issues, at least I'm not noticing anything here. And the quality again is in 720p for this game. So everything else works the same way. Home button brings you back home. If you're having audio issues, just press and hold on the home button here and go to your sound and devices right here. You're gonna see that control headphones is non-existent. That's because we're plugged up to the PC. The sound's gonna come from your PC, hopefully if you have speakers. If not, that's why you'd wanna get yourself a set of headphones like these. You've seen I've been wearing them throughout the video here. Uh, these are the Turtle Beach P11s. I'll link you in the description. These are still my favorite headphones to date and they've been around for a long time. So other than that, you're pretty much gonna have your PS4 playing remotely. The PlayStation is not connected to anything, it's just connected to a power source. So as long as you have a power source somewhere to plug it in, you don't need the HDMI cable anymore, you don't need the monitor anymore. And whenever you're finished playing, just hold the PlayStation button on your controller and you want to then turn the power and use the enter rest mode option here rather than turning it off. If you turn it off, you'll have to walk up to the PlayStation wherever it is and power it on. Using this, you can just open it up by opening the PlayStation Remote Play app on your computer and it'll turn on just fine. So that is it. Hopefully everything worked out for you. If it did, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe, all of that good stuff. Share it with your friends on social media. But if you did run into any issues, feel free to let me know in the comments as well. I'm happy to help you out any way I can. And I do respond to almost every comment that I get. Now, some things I did mention in the video that you may run into. First off, the basics here. If you do have issues, make sure that your configuration of your computer meets the requirements of the website I showed you in the video. Make sure your internet connection is solid, you're not having breaks, and it's fast enough. And then basically, make sure that you've configured the settings on your computer. So if you know that your internet connection or your settings aren't too good, set it up to the lower 720p options and different frame rates like that. Again, let me know if you need any help in the comments below. I hope it worked out for you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.